What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to the channel. Hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a, I was going to say fourth year, I'm a final year medical student uh, studying Kids College London. And as you guys know, previously I used to use all Samsung. I actually had an old uh, Samsung tablet I used to use, I got a Samsung watch on me, a uh, Samsung phone as well. But I'm slowly changing my ways guys, I'm slowly converting and I finally have invested in an iPad over here with a magic keyboard and also uh, the pencil. As you guys know, I run a Mac as well. So having this iPad with me and also using the Mac is just so much easier and so much better. And I will slowly be converting everything I use to a Mac and Apple, sorry, very, very slowly. Not quite yet, but I'm in the process, guys. So today I'll be taking you guys through all of the apps that I use on my iPad. I've had it for a few weeks now, absolutely love it. And there's so many apps that I've been using whilst in university that I really wanna show you guys. It's really increased my productivity and hopefully it'll help you guys out as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first app that I use in university is no Notion and I use it pretty much every single day. Loads of my friends actually use Notion for studying and revising. Uh, personally, I haven't actually used it for studying and revising. Although what I have done is used it for things that are more to do with kind of project management and just keeping up to date with what I need to do. So for example, if I show you guys um, how I prepared my last OSCEs, and the OSCEs are the kind of practical exams we do in medical school where we diagnose patients and do loads of practical stuff. So I actually use Notion to keep track of all the things I had to do and learn. So I had one column here for the things I had in started learning yet over here on the left side. I had a middle column for all the things that I was in the process of learning. And then finally, all the uh, things that I was completely confident in. And what I'll do is as I learn stuff, I'd move it across, you know, different uh, different categories. And that allowed me to slowly keep track of everything that I wanted to learn uh, whilst I was uh, preparing for these exams. But if you want, you can actually click on one of these things. And then for example, with the hip examination, you can actually add in loads of different, you know, information regarding, you know, what you're actually learning. You can paste in images, you can do whatever you want pretty much with this document. So Notion is really, really helpful. What I also use it for is my personal life. So for example, uh, if I go if I go under videos, here is how I actually manage and you know plan all my YouTube videos. Whenever I have an idea, I put it straight uh, into this column here with my ideas. If I'm actually writing the video and I'm in progress of writing it, I'll put it down here in writing in progress. If it's actually ready to film, all the writing's done, I'll leave it in this column here. And if it's re filmed ready to go, I'll leave it in here as well. So for example, with the video I'm recording right now, um, it should actually be ready to film. So you can see down here, and if I actually click on that uh, little you know, um, bubble thing over there, it comes up with everything um, that I've planned out for this video. So that everything in the main body. So for example, the Notion thing that I'm talking about, I can toggle it here. And it's just a, a lovely way of kind of organizing the tasks you have and the kind of content information you do have. But some more examples of how I actually use it. Um, I use it to um, sync all of my highlights from my Kindle, so all my Readwise highlights are here as well. Um, whenever I plan out like a, a you know Skillshare course, I do all of it on here. For my Skillshare essay writing course that I filmed, I actually completely planned it on Notion. And if I toggle through all of these uh, you know different uh, things here. I actually stored all the information I wanted to talk about in the videos on my uh, Skillshare course uh, on here as well. And I can close that uh, toggle if I need to as well. So it's super, super useful for project management. So that's Notion. If you guys want me to do a full video on how I actually use Notion in more detail, then let me know with a comment down below. But that's the first app I recommend you guys use. Let's move on to the second one. All right, so the second app that I use in university is Notability. Um, I actually really like Notability. I think I, I did try out the alternative, which is GoodNotes. The reason why I chose to, to use Notability is just because I, I just like the interface. I liked how um, it looked. And secondly, I feel like writing on the actual screen just felt more like paper. So when I actually use my um, Apple Pencil scrolling or you know, writing on the screen, it felt way more real to me. And that's the reason why I chose Notability, but GoodNotes is also a very good option as well. I probably won't use Notability as much because I'm in my final year of medical school now and I don't actually take that many notes anymore. But I definitely do use it uh, day to day. So for example here, um, I use this today when I was planning out my day. And that for me is a really nice way of just writing down any sort of notes I have day to day as I go along. Although it wasn't on this particular iPad, it was on my old tablets. What I'll do is just put up some pictures on the screen of all the notes that I took um, previously, just to give you guys an idea of how I used to use my tablets to actually take notes in university. And all of these notes that I created in my first, second and third year medical school to pass all of those exams are actually all available up my website. But Notability is my go-to choice um, app when it comes to taking notes day to day. The last sort of point to add with regards to note taking is a screen protector. I really, really love the screen protector. I recently bought it when I actually bought the iPad and it's a paper-like screen protector and my God, is it the best uh, screen protector I've ever used in my life. 
What I really love about screen protector is firstly, it's kind of like a matte uh, finish. So when I'm sat in direct sunlight, the screen is not reflective. It actually removes all reflection, which I really, really love. And secondly, and most importantly, when I actually write on my iPad, when I use the um, pencil to actually write on it, it feels exactly like it does, you know, writing on a piece of paper, which is, you know, the, ma the main and the most important thing for me. I really hated writing on the screen when I first got this Apple Pencil and the iPad, but as soon as I put the, the screen protector on, it just changed the game. If you guys want to check out the screen protector, and it's not sponsored whatsoever, but I do have an affiliate link that I'll leave down below if you guys want to check out the screen protector that I use for my iPad. The next app that I want to show you guys that I used to use pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis in university, uh, going to all my lectures, is Microsoft OneNote. So this is the main way that I actually uh, took notes during my lectures. So on the left side of the screen here, I have all of the different years. So I have the first year, I have second year, third year, and fourth year. And that's one of the other key things about you using Microsoft OneNote is that if you need access to any sort of lecture, whether it was in your first year, second year, third year, fourth year, whatever year it was, you have 24 seven super simple access to any lecture that you actually attended. So for example, I'm over here. This is one of the lectures I had in my emergency medicine blocks. Um, but basically to take you guys through it, uh, if I click on uh, year four, it will take me to all of the modules I had. So emergency medicine, women's health, child's health, and these are all the modules that I actually studied during my fourth year. And if I click on the actual module, I have a list of all of the different lectures I did. So this is probably around 20 to 30 lectures stored over here for this one module. And if I click on any sort of um, uh, lecture here, straight away it will load you know, the actual lecture itself. So what I'd actually do is I would download the PDF of the whole entire lecture from uh, the university website and I'll open it up on my Microsoft OneNote. So as you guys can see here on the right of the actual slide, um, I, all I did was just click on the side of the uh, lecture slide and what I'll do is I'll just type out uh, you know whatever the lecture said and whatever I wanted it to add to this actual uh, lecture slide here. And the reason why I prefer using an iPad or my MacBook to actually take notes alongside my lecture slides is really for three reasons. The first one is that it's super quick and simple to write notes. You're way quicker typing than you are writing. The second reason is that it saves paper. My god. Like when I actually didn't use this Microsoft OneNote, I had folders and folders and folders of actual papers in my room. I literally had 15 folders of the first three years of my last degree in my room and also my first and second year of medical school, which was just, it was crazy. So it saves a lot of paper, which saves you money and also saves a lot of space in general. And what you'll find is that if you're in the library and you're studying, you need to revise this module and that module, your bag won't be full with all of these different, you know, folders of different papers. It will all be here stored in your Microsoft OneNote. So if you to go back to your you know year one lectures you can do that you can literally you know in two clicks in 30 seconds have access to all of the lectures you did in your previous years which makes it super easy and super efficient obviously when it comes to actually making my own notes i'll use good notes like i showed you guys i'll use an apple pencil but when it comes to actually taking notes during the lectures microsoft OneNote is what i use and i highly recommend you guys use that as well when it comes to taking very quick you know notes on my actual ipad what i use is evernote and evernote is is probably the single most important app that i use across all my devices the reason why is that if I want to write down any sort of notes, so for example, my shopping list, like you guys can see here, when it comes to that, being able to just quickly type in a note is super easy with Evernote and it syncs across all my devices. What I really love about Evernote as well is that it actually allows me to store any sort of kind of document on Evernote. So I probably have over 2,500 uh, notes and documents stored in Evernote. So for example, uh, if it's a you know, picture for uh, whatever it is. So in this example, it was the thumbnail that I used for my Skillshare uh, medicine application class. This is a document that I probably will need at hand quite often. So rather than um, storing on my desktop where it has you know, the potential of getting lost, Evernote is where I store it. What I also use Evernote for is, for example, if I do have uh, some sort of important document like my uh, fifth year timetable, I need to store and have at hand very quickly. When the university give me my timetable, I'll straight away forward it via email to my Evernote. What I also have stored in Evernote is all the important documents that I need. For example, maybe copies of my passports, copies of my driving license, any sort of document that I need at hand is all on Evernote. I am virtually paperless. I don't have any paper in my room at all anywhere. And if you guys want a full uh, tutorial on how I use Evernote to be completely paperless in university, then I'll leave a link up on the screen somewhere that you guys can go ahead and check that out. And one of the main reasons why I like Evernote is that if you pay for the premium membership, it has the ability to scan your documents. So for example, if I get a letter in the post with some really important information that I need, all I'll do is get my phone out, scan it via Evernote, uh, put it onto Evernote, save it there, and that's it. I don't have to put it in any folder. I don't have to write a title, that's it. And the reason why is because Evernote has a really smart software that actually scans your documents 
document that you uploaded. So if I actually need to find this document in the future, all I have to do is type in one sort of keyword, for example, uh, hospital or GP. And what Evernote will do is that it will give me all of the documents that have the word GP or hospital in them, and it will straight away make it so much easier to find these documents. The next app that I use every single day in university is Anki. Uh, Anki is basically the software that I use to create flashcards and review my flashcards every single day in medical school. This is basically the way that I learn any information in medical school. Again, a full video will be up over here somewhere if you guys wanna check out how I use Anki. But essentially, when I wanna learn new things in medical school, I'll make flashcards straight away. And having the Anki app on my iPad makes reviewing things way easier. So for example, if I go through Anki, this will be the front side of the flashcard. What I'll do is just tap anywhere on the screen and it'll give me the bottom of the flashcard straight away. Then have the option of ranking how hard it is down below. And the reason why I love having it on my iPad is that if I wanna lie in bed and just have the iPad off like this. Actually reviewing and going through my Anki flashcards is way easier just you know having it in my hand like this and it means I can go through all my flashcards in such a quick amount of time because I literally just fly through them with my fingers. It makes it so much easier to have that on my iPad. The downside of this Anki app is that it's actually quite expensive. I think it cost me like 28 pounds which is really expensive. That is a bit of a downside. If you guys don't want to spend money on this app it's completely fine. You can actually use the web version of Anki which is just as good. So when you're in university what's super important is making sure that you're always up to date with all the tasks you have to do. And this is why it's really important to use some sort of um, you know, task manager or things that allow you to just tick off you know, the things you need to do. Basically a to-do list. Uh, the to-do list that I use is called TickTick. -tick. The reason why I love TickTick -tick so much is because you can actually divide your life into different categories. So for example, um, I've divided my life into life, which is the normal like life things I do in my personal life. I have a category for medicine on the left there. I have one for my research in urology and one for YouTube as well. So it's really, really nice to organize my life into these different categories. And straight away, when I'm in university, at the hospital, wherever I am, if I have some sort of to-do thing that comes to my mind, I will straight away go onto my phone, go onto Anki app and add it straight away in there. And it'll be nicely organized for future Kenji to deal with once I'm actually home and away from university. Once you actually add the things you need to do, what's really, really good is you're actually able to, um, you know, set an actual date for when you want that task being done. You can set the time as well, set a reminder, and also set it to repeat as well. So that's super handy just to remind you, you know, to do any sort of task that you need in university as well. The next app that I use on my iPad is Google Calendar, which is so, so key in organizing my whole entire life. I literally have my whole entire life organized and detailed on Google Calendar, and it's super, super efficient and allows me to always track my time and manage my time as well. To be honest, you can use whatever sort of calendar app you want. The one that I personally just like is Google Calendar because I like how easy it is to use. I like the way it looks, and I also like how it syncs with my email, which is Microsoft Outlook. What I would really recommend for you to do as students is to put everything, all of your lectures, absolutely everything you have to do into your calendar. What I would also suggest is to also put the things that are important to you in your calendar. So not just your lectures, not just your like teaching sessions that you have, but also things that you want to do. I make sure that you time block it. So for example, today, I knew that I wanted to spend the whole entire day filming videos. So in my calendar, I have uh, 1045 to 230 filming videos. And then I knew I want to spend the whole entire evening filming these YouTube videos for you guys. So my whole entire life, not just university, but my social life as well, and the tasks that I want to do that are important to me are also included on my Google Calendar. I think it's super important to use some sort of calendar app and Google Calendar is my app of choice. When it comes to using the cloud, I actually don't use iCloud. I personally use Google Drive. The reason why I use it is it's just what I've always used, to be honest with you. Uh, I do use Dropbox and OneDrive a bit as well, but I'm trying to convert everything I do and everything I use onto uh, Google Drive. I really recommend you guys put all of your important work on Google Drive. Do not, by any means, leave it on your laptop or your MacBook. That's perishable if it's on there, if it's on your computer. What's not perishable is if it's on your Google Drive or your Evernote, so make sure you have it secure on some sort of cloud service. What I do is I try and um, organize my Google Drive into my personal stuff, so my personal life, and also my uni stuff. So if we click on uni stuff, as you can see, it's not really well organized, but all of my uni stuff is saved here. Uh, as well as that, I also have a separate folder for my personal life as well. So any sort of you know YouTube stuff or any videos I wanna have is all up here as well. And it's kind of nice to just divide my life into you know these two categories and making sure that if I lose my laptop, I'm not screwed. If I lose my iPad, I'm not screwed. Everything I need is either on Evernote and Google Drive, and I highly recommend you guys do that as well. And that is pretty much it, guys. These are the most used apps that I use every single day and that I highly recommend you guys use. If you have any questions about how I use any of these apps or any suggestions as to what you want me to go into a bit more detail in regards to the apps that I use, and please let me know with a comment down below. Please also take five seconds out of your day to make sure you leave the video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed as well. Consider turning the post notifications on so you don't miss a video whenever I'm posting. And if you guys found this video, 
video useful, you may want to check out the other videos on my channel over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.